the notation for a series looks like this. It's got a capital Greek letter sigma, and this particular series goes from one to infinity, and it's called the index that keeps up with what term you're currently at. Um, I, I assume most of us probably know at this point that this series is a shorthand notation for an actual sum of terms where you start with the beginning number here, in this case one, you would plug that into the function of n, typically it would actually be a function of n, not just written a sub n, and then you continually add the next term and the next term and the next term until you get to the number uh, that's in the top of the sigma symbol. Um, if this was a finite series, you would only add up five or six, up, you know, 10, 20 terms or so. Um, but if it goes on for forever, then we call it an infinite series. Now, by far the most popular question you'll be asked about infinite series is if they converge or if they diverge. So uh, just a, a quick little explanation of those two concepts. We say that an infinite series converges if it adds up to a finite number. Now, the first time you hear about infinite series, the idea of an infinite series converging doesn't quite make sense because if you're adding up an infinite amount of terms, it seems like it would always add up to infinity. Well, it turns out that's not the case. If the terms get small enough, uh, quick enough, then it, it can actually add up to a finite number, and I'll, we'll do an example in a minute. Um, the other possibility is that the infinite series diverges. That's much more uh, natural. Um, if you add up an infinite amount of terms, just do simply one plus one plus one plus one for forever, it'll obviously blow up to infinity. So anything that adds up to either infinity or negative infinity, or for that matter, just anything that doesn't converge for whatever reason, we say that it diverges. So uh, we'll often be asked if our series converges or diverges. Now, it's a extremely fine line between convergence and divergence. Here I've done uh, two, two series here, two infinite series, and if you look at it term by term, uh, the first one will go 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. So 1 plus a half plus a third plus a fourth. So those number, those terms are getting smaller, uh, but it turns out it still blows up to infinity. And, uh, and you can check me on this if you want to add up the first 20 or 30 or 50 terms. You'll notice it, it does slow down, but it will continue to grow and grow and grow. And um, it'll wind up adding to infinity if you add up enough you know, terms continually forever. On the other hand, I have a series, infinite series, that looks almost identical, one over n squared versus one over n, very minute difference. You look at these terms, one over one plus one over two squared, which is a fourth, and then a ninth, and then a sixteenth. You notice it looks very similar to the first series, but it turns out this series actually converges. So how do we know, how do we know, because of such a fine line between converging and diverging, whether a given series converges or not? Um, because that'll by far be the most popular question you'll ask on any uh, test uh, on this topic here. Well, it turns out that the speed at which these terms go to zero or get smaller is extremely important. If you notice, 1 over n squared those terms will approach zero much faster than one over n, and that plays a role in it. Now, how fast is fast? Well, lucky for us, there's a whole list of terms, I'm sorry, a whole list of tests that people have constructed over the years that talk about the convergence of certain series. So here's a list of the most popular tests that are used, uh, but basically for certain situations uh, some of these tests are applicable and some of the other tests are not applicable. 